welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be here with you and I hope you guys are doing great out there. Hope everyone is doing wonderful. But I'm so glad to be here and um, really excited to get into this food here. And I'm, my mouth is watering because I'm ready to start eating. But before I begin, I would like to bless the food. Our dearly Father, thank you for this food. Please bless it that it may nourish our bodies. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, so business underway. I have on the menu catfish. We have about 10 here. I have rolls, their rolls. Um, and this is from Lisa's chick, fish and chicken. Uh, they have, their chicken is amazing, but I felt like fish tonight. Um, I have Bee Loves Garlic Smack Delicious Sauce. Can't wait to dig into that. And I have my trifle here that I made the other night. And uh, right here I have otai. This is otai apele. It's apple otai. And I can't wait to tear into that. And um, on the side I do have some ginger ale. Let's go ahead and uh, get that ready. And I have my favorite cup. Enjoy the moment on deck. A toast for you. Let's go ahead and. Mm. Yum, that is so delicious and so refreshing. So let's go ahead and tear into this. I am just so hungry i waited all day to for this mukbang so you guys pull up something to eat and then let's let's tear into this first bite is for you mm. Mm. oh the flavor the flavor of this sauce, amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get some of that onions and garlic. Mmm. Y'all, there's no words, but it's finger licking good. <laughs> yeah. I love. I just love how crunchy, how crunchy this is fried up. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that pickled ginger.
I have a gigantic piece of ginger. We're going to plop that right on top of it. Mm. Mm. Just move that out of the lighting. <laughs> Mm. Give myself, myself some elbow room. <laughs> Mm. 
I just wanted to share my condolences to the victims of Astroworld. Um, I just found out that my daughter that's going to college in, at the University of Houston, um, she was there at the Astroworld Festival. I'm heartbroken and I join the millions of prayers uh, that, that are being uh, offered up for the victims and families of the, that died at the Astroworld Festival. But I just wanted to share that I am so thankful that that my daughter was not injured. I'm very thankful that she made it out. She's a very smart, very bright, very brave young woman. I know there were hundreds of people that were injured and prayers go out to you. These things are huge. That is really big. Mmm. Mm. 
I don't hope I got it. Mm. There's so many things going on in the world right now. So many things. Mm. Maybe a spoon from that. Ooh, I love ginger ale. Well, hmm. Mm. This rolls are so good, delicious. Okay. Let's have a sip of our watayu. You guys try it. Hope you guys try it for Thanksgiving. It is so refreshing. Hmm. I try to drink it in one gulp to get the fruit all in my mouth, Whew, but I, I can't sometimes. <laughs> Drink it with a spoon. If you can't, if it's hard for you to gulp that down, get a spoon and and eat it like that. Mm. Ah. So, sorry, so delicious. Okay, y'all. Time for some dessert. There you go. Mm. 
y'all. You can't just have one spoon. Yum. Yum, y'all. Wonderful. Mm. Well, you guys, I'm going to clear this out and then let's go ahead and talk about our encouraging, inspirational, motivational person. Stay with me, okay? You don't want to miss this. She is, it could end your night wonderfully. Guys, thank you for coming back. The person I wanted to highlight today is Mother Teresa. She was born Agnes Gon Goncha Bojaksu. She was born in Skopje, Skopje, Macedonia on August 26, 1910. 1910. Her family was Albanian descent. Her father died when she was eight years old and she was raised by her mother. At the age of 12, she felt really strongly the call of God. She knew she had to be a missionary to spread the love of Christ. At the age of 18 years old, she decided to leave her parents' home in Skopje, and she joined the Sisters of Loreto, which is an Irish community of nuns and missions in India. Being there for a few months in Dublin for training, and then she ended up going to India. So on May 24th, 1931, she took her vows and became a nun. In 1931 to 1948, it says that Mother Teresa became a teacher at, and she taught at St. Mary's High School in Calcutta. But she kept looking outside it was in an area where um, people were suffering and poverty was so high. She kept looking outside the, the convent walls and saw the poverty and suffering of the people, which made such a deep impression on her. In 1948, she received permission from her supervisors to leave the convent and devote her life to working for the poorest of the poor in the slums of Calcutta. So even though she had no money, she depended on divine providence and started an open air school Poor children. In 1950, October 7th, Mother Teresa received permission from the Holy See to start her own holy or, holy order. The this was called the Missionaries of Charity. The primary purpose of her starting her 
holy order was to love and care for those that nobody was prepared to look after. Mother Teresa and her helpers, volunteers, built homes for orphans, nursing homes for lepers, and hospices for the terminally ill in Calcutta. As she helped others, the money was pouring in for her all over the world. In 2003, Pope Francis took the first step towards her canonization. It's to declare a deceased person an official recognized saint. So in 2016, Mother Teresa was declared a saint by Pope Francis. That's so amazing to me how in tune she was with the Spirit and with God. And she just devoted her life to feeding and helping the sick and the hungry. And those who, who people did not want to deal with, the leper, those with leprosy, she built them, a, a, had a home separately built for them so they can live in. So she says, the amazing work that her and others have done to help people around the world. She could not have been able to do it without your prayers, without your gifts, your donations and the continuous giving. But she says, I don't want you to give me from your abundance. I want that you give me until it hurts. And she talks about this, uh, this story where there is a man that gave her $15 and he had been on his back for over 20 years. But the, the only part of his movement of his body is his right hand and the only companion he enjoys is smoking and he told her I do not smoke for one week because I sent you this money she says it must have been a great sacrifice for him to give the little that he had. And she says that she, she took that $15 and bought bread with it and fed that bread to the hungry. And she says, how beautiful that he shared. That it is a gift from God to be able to help others. They have a home in Calcutta for the, the, those people who are preparing to die. They had picked up over 36,000 people, all from the streets of Calcutta. 18,000 of those people died. And she, ex she describes it as a beautiful death. Before they died, as they stayed in the home in Calcutta, she says that she talked about love, about God, compassion, with respect and honor, and that is someone to look up to. And throughout history, she gave up her life to help the people all over the world. She also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Reagan. She received the Nobel Peace Prize for her missionary work in the poor of India in 1979. In 1948 in India, she didn't get much support. And while she was trying to feed the hungry, she also found herself hungry too, and so she had to beg for food. 
When she started her charity, she had 13 members. Now she has 4,000 members who care for the people around the world. It takes nine years to join her, her charity as a member. Nine years. Mother Teresa died September 5th of 1997. absolutely left a legacy and her charity today is worth over a hundred million dollars and that's from you know donations and people just wanting to help her charity by we will always be inspired by her and the work and charity that she offered to the people of the world. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to her, her life. I, I know I can go on and on and on um, talking about the work that Mother Teresa did, but I know we're short of time. Talking about the love of Christ, she had it and she shared that to the world. That's it for me, guys. To my subscribers, I thank you. Thank you for the bottom of my heart for your support. Those who are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get a notification when a new video is posted. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Take care. And we'll see you on the next video. Ofatu. Let's drink some of this. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a super awesome day. Ofatu.